Yo yo, what's up everybody? John B. Parker here, back with another raid Shadow Legends video. Back on the free to play slash alt account, whatever you want to call it. Not spending any money. If, unless it's a really good deal, I think that would be the only time. Anyway, week number two, here we go. Where are we at? We're at day 14. And we've had some progress. We've had one big thing, and we've had a few minor things. So Let's get the big thing out of the way right off the bat. And I know some of you guys are going to claim shenanigans, but hey, this is this is how it works. We pulled a Void Legendary. <laughs> so I got a free Void Shard from day 12 of the login rewards, and I'm like, screw it, let's pop it. And hey, sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you pull a garbage champion, sometimes you pull a great champion. Got lucky. Now... Is he the best? No. Is he the worst? No, definitely not. You Carl the Scourge. Scourge, Scourge, however you want to say it. I don't know. Uh, no books, no ascension. It's it's rough at the beginning, but hey, this guy gives us a 100% chance at placing, decreasing turn meter, or no, placing a freeze on an AoE. And you don't have to do that. All you have to do is have 75% or more turn meter. He gives us this um, single target uh, chance at placing decreased speed and placing a freeze but he steals the target's turn meter plays increased speed on himself so this is really good and we'll also ignore target's defense if they're under a freeze I don't know this doesn't really ever come into play but what's awesome is stealing of the turn meter with an increased speed on himself this hits kind of hard as well you got a chance at freeze here you know ignores defense if they have freeze some cool stuff happens if he's got his passive going. Uh, don't have his passive or his act the active part of it going, but it is what it is. We will at some point. Uh, ally attack in all battles by 33% can really pump out the damage that kill can do. An extra 33% damage. Uh, all right, so that's that. We got you, Carl the Scourge. Scourge, Scourge, I don't know. However you want to pronounce it. Also an epic, awesome, fucking great-looking champion, dude. It's It's... One of the big things about this guy when he first came out was he looked so cool, but then he didn't do much. But then they updated his kit, they buffed him, and now all of the cool stuff is good. Alright, what else did we do? We upgraded Tayrell to 4-star Ascension, so we got his aura, which is really cool. 25% in all battles, and I maxed, I maxed him out as far as books. So now this is a 4-turn cooldown. He's 100% defense down. Fantastic. And we get a 50% chance of placing decrease attack twice. And there you go. What do I got here? I got Deliana working in some lifesteal stuff. Uh, I changed her kit up just a bit. I changed up her gear just a bit to get her some more HP. Got her an HP chest. Still speed boots. Nothing is like upgraded really great. But it is what it is. Rector Drath still rocking out and some stuff to keep her going. All of this stuff is literally campaign farm stuff. With the exception of Kale, look at this. This is this is all just campaign farm stuff. So we're not working on dungeons quite yet. This is all campaign farm stuff. Uh, and then we have some perception stuff. Spirit Host is still my leader for Arena. So I have her moving the fastest at 180 speed. We're getting there. We're getting there. I recently just pulled a Coffin Smasher who I... Eh. I don't really need to build him, but he's a good champion nonetheless. One of the best, better rare champions in the game. Attack down on the A1. HP burn on the A2. And then his passive is a miniature Duchess, which is very nice. So we look in the vault. What did I get? I finally got a Skinner. I used Skinner for his A2, which is, has a chance to remove two random buffs. And I used that on the Magic Keep. One of the better uncommon champions that's not talked about at all. Because his A2 also has a 6.3 multiplier. Holy mother. This hits really hard. Um, there you go. So, and we have some uh, fusion champions saved up. Nothing really else to go. Sandless Survivor, she's a good champion. Not going to build her out quite yet. Working on some more food. That's pretty much it. We look at the campaign. I got Brutal cleared. I started Nightmare, but I didn't really go into it uh, anymore. 
Um, where are we at in dungeons here? Let's see. Dungeons. Spider's Den, I'm up to... I don't know, I can clear stage 9, but I don't really do it. Again, I don't really run any of these with any kind of regularity. Even Minotaurs. I ran a whole bunch of the keep, though. I ran stage 10, or stage 11 of the keep. Of the of the magic keep to get the potions for Tyrell. And that's pretty much it. We got a little bit of faction wars going on. I did some night revs. I did some high elves. We got high elves. Deliana helps with that. Tyrell helps with that. That's fantastic. I got some with barbarians with the Akarl. And then Dark Elves with Kale. That's pretty much it. We look at the arena. The arena's kind of again, we're not really we're not really trying to get too high in the arena right now, but uh, Silver 4 with my defense of Spirit Host, Yakarl, Tayrell, and Kale. So I have Spirit Host and Tayrell's the next fastest. Defense down, and then these two can nuke. Yada yada, Tag Team Arena, we're not really doing too much there. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the updates for this account. Um... Yeah, slow going. It's slow going. We'll work on getting more six stars. The next goals are going to be get Yakarl six star, Deliana six star, Tyrell six star, and then hopefully also try to transition into more dungeon based gear farming as opposed to just campaign uh, to be able to upgrade these stats. So, with that being said, that's pretty much the update. Not too much, but hey, it is what it is. We'll see you next week with another update. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Have a great one. Love you. Bye.